All right, here we go, guys. We got a treat today. I, I've been very blessed and fortunate to fish on some great boats. I'm on another... Thanks to me. Maybe thanks to Doc a little bit. I'm on another one today. That's Mike, the owner of this boat. There's Doc. We're going fishing today. And Doc's got the <laughs> surgical glove on. He's still pretending to be a doctor. Um, we are on a 39 Nortec Superfish. The name of the boat is Super Crab. It's Mike's boat. And back here, we have four 400 Merc Verados. These are the inline six supercharged Verados. You'll see two huge live wells here. We're using one live well as a fish box. The other live well will be uh, bleeding the fish. We got some pitch wells on either side. These are tuna tubes, Mike, or pitch wells? Tuna tubes. So tuna tube here, tuna tube there. See all the rods across the stern. There's more on top. There's more in the crow's nest up there. And there's a ton along each gunnel. So the boat is 39 feet. We'll include the full specs. I think the beam is 10 feet. What's the fuel, Mike? 555. 555 gallons of fuel it holds. Um, 39 feet long, 39 something long. We'll, we'll include all the specs, but you can see just uh, a boat really laid out for fishing and cruising. You got a beautiful lounge seat here. Uh, we got the combo cup holder, rod holders, which I love. That way people can uh, drink. We also have a big 96 inch Rodan on this 39 footer. Uh, here's a forward shot. You see the Garmin Open Array radar. We have the light bar. Again, this lounge seat. There's induct storage all over the place. You do have this forward seating. This is really not that obtrusive. You can fish it if you wanted to, but really with 39 feet, unless you're going to have 10 people on the boat, you, you really can fish up to here and you still have a ton of room. Mike is like a million miles away, it seems. You don't have to get out of the way, Mike. You're good. Um, so how does this door open, Mike? Do you mind uh, opening it? Because I know at the one of the shows I struggled with it. Yeah, I don't know why I struggled. This doesn't seem that hard. There we go. We got a head. We also have a little sleeping berth. Mike's got some fishing gear in here, but uh, you could overnight in it if you wanted. Mike, what am I forgetting? There's a FLIR camera too, night vision camera, spotlights all around. How do we get up to the crow's nest? Can I jump up there? Uh, you, you can't jump. You gotta climb. I can't jump. Okay, but I gotta climb. I can climb. There's the ladder. Right. When you get to this step. When you get to this step, you hold on to the crow's nest. Okay. I can pass you the camera. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so so my first time on a crow's nest. Thanks for the help, Mike. Um, what have you up here? We're here in the marina. And uh, no driver's station, more rod holders, though. But this is a good spot if you want to uh, sight fish. And Mike does take the boat uh, tuna fishing, so that's what it's here for. All right, let's step back down. All right, and we're... We're about to leave, but let's look at the helm. We have twin 24 inch Garmin's here. Beautiful screens. Nice black layout here, reduces the glare. Functional, functional little area here, radio here, two radios, two carbon Garmin radios. Fiber. Yeah, carbon fiber. Cup holders galore, joystick. Oh, that's a bow thruster. Yep. yep. Lighted. All right. Yeah. The lighted cup holders. Oh, yeah. And there's the Mercs. We'll try and get some performance numbers too when we're out there. But yeah, yeah, the the Nortec 392, beautiful boat. I'm gonna make a fishing video today, but uh, a boat review video, two for one. We'll see how we do. And uh, one very unique aspect of this boat. It's rare to see a lift here in Eastern Long Island, especially at a marina, but Mike does have one. So we don't have to untie any dock lines. You literally just lower the lift and uh, power the boat off it. Let those big engines do all the work. We'll be breaking the inlet soon and we'll show some running shots. All right, we are in the Long Island Sound. Uh, 
A little bit of a chops, not crazy, but definitely some white caps, northwest wind. Uh, it's always hard to tell with the GoPro. Just idling out still. You could see there is a little bit of a wind, a little bit of a chop. Likely won't uh, have optimal performance with this headwind. It's a slack tide right now. But we'll open it up in a second and see what we can do. Yeah. But it's great that you can have it on your machinery. Yeah. Here we go. It's good ballast. Chargers mining. We're at 63 already. Burning 123 an hour right now. 124 an hour. 65. About to hit 70. There's 70. Wow. And yeah, you saw Mike backed it off there. We hit 70. The trip computer shows the top speed ever recorded on this boat was 79.5 miles an hour, so a hair under 80 miles an hour. We were still climbing when he backed off, but that's what this boat is made for. It's a it's a relative deep V, 21 and a half degrees, rather narrow, 10 feet for a 39 footer, go fast boat with a lot of feature, uh, fishing features. I mean, you saw all the rod holders, 54, I think Mike said, total on the boat. It's just perfectly made for hardcore fishing and that's what we tried to do today uh not much luck but we do have two highlights of the trip we're going to start first with a prank and then a really decent fluke that i caught but uh as, as some of you know especially some of you in our inner circle doc's number one phobia is mice and i happen to bring a toy mouse with me on this trip waiting for the perfect opportunity to uh, present it where Doc could see it, and this is what transpired after I did that. Hey, watch your foot there, dude. What, Mike, careful. What the fuck is that? What is it? Oh! <laughs> 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 And to be completely fair to Doc, I'm pretty sure I would have reacted that same way if I looked down and there was a mouse by my foot. Uh, like I said, the fishing was not great. We were not out long. It was brutally hot. This wind had uh, died down to nothing after we were out there about an hour. Uh, but the one good keeper that we caught is coming up right now. Uh, spooning? No. Uh, six ounce bucktails. Six ounce bucktails. Um, we did try the spoon too. We didn't get anything on the spoon. Everything was on six ounce bucktails. No three ways. And uh, no straight bucktail with a fat cow jig strip on it. And uh, some really big bluefish, like Monster. monsters. Well, should pass, I'm cautiously optimistic to say. It's a fluke. It's okay. It's not great. Yeah. You got it? I was going to get it. I think it's going to pass. It's going to be 20 to 21 inches is my guess. 
I did. It might be bigger than that, actually, now that I'm feeling the weight. Might be 22 inches. You got the drag on? Yeah. Oh, it's bigger. Dude! Oh! 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 oh, oh. Sabotage! Sabotage! I was I was trying to downplay it. Thank you, Mike. I got it! I got it! I got it! I got it! Watch it! Watch it! I got it! I got it! What are you doing? Oh. You lost the fish! No, I didn't lose the fish. But the fish was on. And yeah, complete shenanigans there. Mike uh, graciously helped me with the net, and of course his line's getting hit, and I won't let Doc bring it up. Regardless, that was, uh, I think, my biggest fluke of the year. We put it on the scale. We had a little side bet going. Um, we put it on the scale. It was hovering between 6.5 and, and 7.2 pounds. If I had to guess, uh, close to 7 pounds, I would guess just under. But a quality fish, and unfortunately the only keeper we were going to catch, like I said, it got brutally hot. That wind died down humid, muggy. We'd all been fishing for a few days in a row and we just decided to call it a day. Uh, regardless, I'm very grateful to Mike for letting me review his boat. Beautiful boat. Anytime you're on a boat that can run 70 miles an hour in a chop, you it's going to put a smile on your face. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. If you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing. And please consider becoming a member of the channel. Lots of perks, including early access to videos and members-only live streams.